Hello friends. This is Code Igniter for Framework Ajax CRUD tutorial series, with jQuery Data Tables plugin, and Bootstrap framework. And in this part, we will learn, how to update or edit MySQL table data. In previous part, we have seen, how to insert data into MySQL table, under this Code Igniter for Framework, by using Ajax and Bootstrap model. Now we want to update MySQL table data by using Ajax under this Code Igniter for framework. So first we need to make edit button in each row of data. So for this we have go to ajaxcrud.php view file and under this sample table we have add one new column action. After this we have go to Ajax CRUD model class and here we have make button function, this button will return edit and delete button. Under this function, we have write dollar action button variable is equal to callback function with dollar row as argument, this row argument will return row data, so from that data, we get the value of user table id table column data. Under this function, we have write return statement, with button tag with type is equal to button, class is equal to edit, data id attribute is equal to dollar row id variable value, and in button text, we have write edit. So this callback function will return this edit button, which has been stored under this dollar action button variable. So below it, we have write return dollar action button variable, which is output of this function, which return edit button. Now we want to call this function under this Ajax CRUD controller class, and under this class, we have go to fetch all method. And under this method, we have go to set output method, and under this, we have write dollar crud model object with button method. So this method will make edit button for each row of data. So now we have check output in browser. Friends, here first we have refresh web page. After refresh of web page, here we can see edit button has been created in each of data. Now we want to proceed for edit MySQL data. So for this first, we have go to ajaxcrud.php file, and here we have write dollar with document selector, with on method, and under this we have write click event, with button class edit. So when we have click on edit button, then this block of code will execute. Under this block, we have write id variable is equal to dollar this with data method, and under this, we have write id, so this code will fetch value of data id attribute and store under this id variable. Next, we have proceed for write ajax request for fetch single user data, so in ajax first option, we have write url, and under this option, we have write php base url function and under this function we have write ajax crud slash fetch single data so it will send request to fetch single data method of ajax crud controller in second option we have write method and here we have use post method for send data to server in third option we have write data and under this we have define id variable as data, which will be sent to server with this ajax request. In fourth option, we have write data type, and here we have define json data type, so it will receive data in json format. And lastly, we have write success callback function, this function will be called if ajax request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server. Under this function, first we have to assign value to name text box, 
So here we have write dollar with text box ID name, with value method, and under this, we have write data dot name variable. After this, we want to assign value to email text box. So here we have write dollar with text box ID email, with value method, and under this, we have write data dot email variable. And same way, we want to assign value to gender text box. So here we have write dollar with select box ID gender with value method and under this we have write data dot gender. Next, we want to change value of model header. So here we have write dollar with model title class with text method and under this we have write edit data so it will display edit data at model header. After this, we want to clear text of name error span text. So here we have write dollar with span tag id name error with text method with blank value. Next, we want to clear text of email error span text. So here we have write dollar with span tag id email error with text method with blank value. Now we want to clear text of gender error span text. So here we have write dollar with span tag id gender error with text method with blank value. After this, we want to change value of action hidden tag. So here we have write dollar with hidden tag id action with value method and under this we have write edit. And same way. We want to assign edit value to submit button. So here we have write dollar with submit button id submit button with value method and under this we have write edit. And for pop up model on web page with data here we have write dollar with model id user model with model method and under this we have write show so it will pop up model on browser. Lastly. We want to assign id variable value to hidden id tag. So here we have write hidden tag id hidden id with value method and under this we have write id. So here our jQuery code is ready. Now we have go to ajaxcrud.php controller class. And here in ajaxcrud controller we have make fetch single data method. This method will received ajax request. Under this method, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar this, with request object with get variable method, and under this, we have write id, so it his variable has some value, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, first we have write dollar crud model variable is equal to, new ajax crud method class, so here we have create object of this class. Below this, we have write dollar user data variable is equal to dollar crud model object with where method with two argument like id and id variable value. So this method will add where condition in query. After this, we have write first method. This method will return first row of the result set, which has been stored under this dollar user data variable. Now we want to send this data to Ajax request in JSON format. So here we have write echo statement with JSON encode function, and under this we have write dollar user data variable. So here our code is ready. Now we have check output in browser. So friends, first we have refresh web page. After refresh of web page, here we have click on this row edit button. After click on edit button, here we can see that model has been pop up in browser with form filled with data. Here we can see model header title has been changed and submit button value also change. And here we can see form has been filled with data. So when we have click on this edit button, then form data will be submitted and that form submission code we have already write 
and it will send request to action method of Ajax CRUD controller. So we have go to action method of Ajax CRUD controller, and here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write action variable value is equal to edit, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar crud model variable is equal to new Ajax crud model class. So here we have create object of this class. After this, we have write dollar ID variable is equal to hidden ID variable value. So here we have store hidden ID variable value under this dollar ID variable. Next, we have write dollar data variable is equal to array. Under this variable we will store form field data in array format. So in first key, we have write name, and in value we have store value of name input field. In second key, we have write email and in value we have store value of email input field. And in last key, we have write gender, and in value we have store value of gender select box, so this way we have store form data under this dollar data variable. Now for update data, we have write dollar crud model object with update method with two argument. In first argument we have write ID and in second argument we have write dollar data variable. So this method will update data. Next, we have write dollar message variable is equal to division class is equal to alert and alert success and between this tag we have write user data updated. So here our code is ready, because we have already stored data for Ajax request under this dollar $output variable, which will be sent to Ajax request in JSON format. So now we have check output in browser. Friends first we have refreshed web page. After refresh of page, we can see user data has been in data table with edit button. Now we want to check data update is working or not. So we have click on this row edit button. After click on edit button, here we can see that bootstrap model has been pop up on web page. And under this, we can see form has been filled with data. Now for check update working or not. So we have changed gender value from female to male, and click on edit button. After click on edit button, here we can see data, model has been removed from web page, and on web page, we can success message, and under jQuery data table, we can see updated record, without refresh of web page. So this way we can use Ajax with Codeigniter for framework for update MySQL table data, without refresh of web page, and without going to another page. So by using Ajax, we can make single page CRUD application in Code Igniter for framework. And lastly in next part, we will discuss, how to delete data from MySQL table, using Ajax under this Code Igniter for framework. Lastly, if you have any query or inputs regarding this tutorial, you can ask your query in comment box. If you have liked this video, please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. And lastly don't forget to subscribe our channel for future video tutorial.